sake of time. But there are benefits to the righteousness of God. There are benefits to living holy. When God tells us, be ye holy, for I am holy. God wants us to live a holy life. But, you know, there are problems with that. Because for us, many of us depend on the fact that we're saved. And we put a period at the end of that sentence. And we say, that's it. I'm saved. I'm forgiven. Glory. Right? But God wants more. And you say, well, wait a minute. We're saved by grace. Not by works. But here's the thing. God filled us with his Holy Spirit to give us a new nature. Which means if I am angry and resentful and spiteful and I have a fat attitude nine times out of ten and people don't want to be around me and I give my heart to the Lord, I'm just forgiven. I just had a bath. But I'm not clean yet. The Holy Spirit has to come in me and give me a new nature in order for me to detest what I used to be. In order for me to want to change, to see that I even need to change. Sometimes the problem with us, you ever uh, see a lady, some of you men, and some of you ladies, you remember times we stand in the mirror, we look at ourselves and we say, oh, I'm looking cute today, I'm ready. <laughs> and you walk out and somebody has to tell you, your slip is hanging. You didn't notice it because it's hanging in the back. You're looking at the front. Hey. Okay, that's what you're looking at. Oh, I'm at the front. Oh, I'm looking good, baby. And somebody's looking at you from behind saying, girlfriend didn't do anything about that slip, now did she? So we think we're together at times. We think we're well grown. We've taken care of ourselves. We are presentable. We are saved. But God sees what's behind. God sees what you don't see. You may look, you may examine yourself, but God sees what you don't see. What is hidden in the darkness is manifested in his light. Remember that. So when you think you've got it going on and you think that you're born again and we keep the Sabbath and I go to church, Every time those doors are opening, I have a pretty Bible. God is looking at what's not so pretty inside. Amen? Amen. Okay. Now, what we're going to deal with is we're going to deal with the path of the flesh. Galatians chapter 5, to me, is a perfect descriptive of what the flesh looks like, smells like, and stinks like. So let's go to Galatians chapter 5. Okay. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. Starting at verse 16. Do I hear any pages rustling? This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Let me stop right there for a second. I knew a guy years ago, he was a taxi driver. And this taxi driver, was a phenomenal actor, phenomenal actor. I mean, I, uh, my friend and I went to watch him perform in Pasadena in one of the church basements where they had a lot of theatrical activity. This guy was gifted. He should have been in the classics. He was at that level. And I majored in drama, so I recognize good talent when I see it. He had it, but his attitude 
His attitude sabotaged his success. So he could not do the things that he would because he himself had shortchanged his destiny. He had a quick lip. He would snap at you in a minute, tell you all, cuss you up one end down the other. He had a very nasty attitude. And he was the last one to know it. But he was gifted. He had all that it took to make it in the big times. But what was in here soured, soured it. You leave milk out and let it get lukewarm and stay there all day long, it's gonna taste sour. Do you wanna drink it? No. It's not the way milk is supposed to taste. And that's what happens with us. But if ye be led of the Spirit, verse 18, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Let me say, let me say something about that. <laughs> You're not under the law because it's in your nature to do it God's way anyway. If the Holy Spirit has changed your nature, it's easy for you not to lie. It's easy for you to do right. It's easy for you to love your neighbor because God's heart is in you. His characteristics are working all in your fiber in spite of your flesh. God is working. But this is what happens when we are either not filled with the Holy Spirit or we are not really trying to walk in his ways to get to that point where the nature changes. We're still justified. We're saved. If ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, Oh, let me repeat that. Hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and the such like. Of which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not, what? Inherit the kingdom of God. But, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering. I'm going to read that later, because right now we're dealing with the flesh. 